All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Javante Tank Davis and what Devin Haney had to say about him and his championship belts. And let me tell you, it is a big reversal of, for, not fortunes, but reversal. And uh, how can I say, ironic opinion of Devin Haney. Let's talk about that in this video. <laughs> Right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're in the lightweight division talking about the undisputed champion of the world, Devin the Dream Haney, and what he had to say about Gervonta Tank Davis in a recent interview with Max Kellerman. And man, let me tell you, it is hilarious to me because it is like He's saying the exact same thing that Ger Gervonta Davis was saying about him before the fight gets made and before the before uh, Devin Haney won his title against uh, George Cambosis. Uh, and man, I'm telling you, this is a fight I really, 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 really wish could, I could see happen. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for watching the video. Please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos, which we do on a daily basis and we have live streams on a daily basis. So there's always good a uh, good opportunity to talk boxing on the channel. So please accept my invitation to do so. All right, so we got two the two best lightweights in the world going at each other and outside of the ring, Hopefully that could will lead eventually to the two best lightweights going at each other inside the ring. And I'm talking about Gervonta Tank Davis, the three divisional title holder, two three time title holder at 130 pounds for major sanction and body belt, major belts. Uh, he's the WBA regular champion at 135 pounds and he is at. 100 he was at 140 pounds uh the WBA regular uh champion in that uh Max Kellerman was was interviewing uh Devin Haney now Devin Haney is the un undisputed not just unified but undisputed champion of the world and Devin Haney basically told that said that Gervonta Tank Davis is not a champion Gervonta Davis needs to take that trash belt that that belt that he has for the WBA regular and throw that in the trash because it doesn't mean anything and everything in the in the division runs through him he also said that you know he would like to have the Vasily Lomachenko fight you know he's interested in that fight and he's also interested in the Gervonta Tank Davis fight now what makes that ironic to me is that before Devin fought George Gambosis George uh, Gervonta Davis said the same thing about Devin Haney. He was like, "Look, man, you an email champ. You got that champ. You got that uh, that belt mailed to you. So basically, man, what are you talking about? Now that was before he actually fought George Cambosis, and now clearly that's not the case. However, to have him call him and to have Gervonta call Devin Haney a email champion, which is the same thing as a uh, as a paper champion, pretty much. And then you have. Gervonta, uh, um, Devin Haney saying that that Gervonta Davis's belt is meaningless. He might as well throw it in the trash is basically calling him a, pa a paper champion as well, man. It is time to go ahead and try to get that fight on, man. I, that's the fight that I really, really want to see, dude, because that is a case of, you know, somebody that is the biggest money fighter in the division of fighting against a guy that has all of the belts. You don't get any more like Reese's peanut butter cup type recipe than that, where you have all of the fans are going to be interested in the fight because uh, uh, because of Gervonta Davis being there. And the fact that Gervonta Davis is the hottest guy in that division, uh, the hottest selling guy in the division. Pause. I know how y'all are, man. Y'all wow with that, man. Can't say a whole bunch of stuff around this chat. Otherwise, be, uh, somebody be in the comments uh, section telling you to pause. So the hottest ticket is Gervonta Tank Davis. And then the guy that holds all the belts. Now, there have been people that have talked about who they think will win out of, the, you know, win that fight. Uh, Antonio Tarver, who uh, ha is on this. God, what is, is it? Is it Pro Box? I think maybe Pro Box. 
podcast. It's on it's on YouTube. I don't, I'm not sure if they make that available on Spotify or whatever. I watch them on YouTube. Him, he, Roy Jones Jr., Pauli Malignaggi, and the host whose name, by the next time I mention it, I will make sure that I, that I know <laughs> and remember. Uh, Roy, uh, uh, Antonio Tarver said, look, he doesn't think that anybody can beat um, can beat Devin Haney at that weight class except for Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson's amateur pred pedigree will allow him to be as technical in his fight as um, as Devin Haney is. Uh, so, but obviously leaving out of that scenario being Gervonta da Tank Davis. Now, one interesting thing that Devin Haney did say is he said that one guy is a puncher and the other guy is a technical guy. And, and who he was referring to was uh, Shakur, Stevenson, uh, Shakur Stevenson saying Shakur Stevenson was a technical fighter and Gervonta Tank Davis was a, was a big puncher. I beg to differ with that, man. And also I beg to differ with with uh, uh, Tarver in that regard. I always found uh, Gervonta Davis to be a very technical fighter, very, very um, high level of technical skills. And, but however, he also, along with that, really does carry a lot of power. So that may what be what gets people's attention. But the thing that sets up the knockout blows are nothing but skills, man. Nothing but being very, very technical. And, in, and he can do that in an aggressive way, he can do it in a way where he's sitting back right now. Most people, when they talk about a technical fighter or a, they talk about guys that stay on the outside and fight from the outside. And I, I, my perception of boxing is a little bit different. I think that there are highly technical fighters that will fight. They can fight on the inside and they will prefer to fight on the inside. They are. And that's just a technique to that. Right. Where and they can actually be in the pocket and not take a lot of punishment in the pocket. For example, James Tony was somebody I think is a very technically skilled fighter. Was not somebody that was fighting from the outside all the time. He was somebody that would they would get in the mid range, get up close, and could sh and had a just a litany of skills. Same thing with uh, Bernard Hopkins, a guy that fought you know uh, that liked to get on the inside, liked to fight at close quarters, was very very adept at doing that. At the same time, didn't take a lot of punishment because he knew. How to do that very well. Errol Spence Jr. is also somebody like that does that as well. So just saying that Javante Davis is not as technical as Shakur or um or Devin Haney, I have a little bit of a problem with that. However, I like that 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 Devin Haney said that he would that he'd be interested or want to fight a Javante Davis, want to fight Javante. Uh, however, that thing about, you know, you know, him being the guy, you know, that is controlling everything. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see that when you get to that, when you get to that, if you get to that negotiation table with Javante, I don't think that you're going to find that that's the case. Those guys are going to be looking at the money and who's making the money and who's selling the tickets and all that when they consider, you know, OK, what do we want to do now? If 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 Devin Haney was that that guy like that, I'm sure Javante Davis and those guys would be running at him trying to get that fight and we would be able to get the fight. But anyway, I just thought the whole conversation was ironic where uh, where Devin Haney is now saying the same thing about Javante as Javante was saying about Devin. Anyway, you cut it, though, these guys are both excellent, excellent fighters. And the fact of the matter is most people don't really care about the belts. But even with that said, I would think anybody that put, could lay their eyes on Devin Haney would know what an exceptional fighter he is and also what an exceptional fighter um, uh, Gervonta Davis is as well. So anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.